Hello everyone, I'm here with a Kubota. You see the model number, I think it's not really gonna matter for this grammar seat. This is the grammar seat I have. It still has some plastic on it. This machine isn't that old. I know nothing about this stuff, but I do um, tinker with a lot of things and I'm usually one of the people in town people come to to try to figure things out. Not that I'm an expert on anything, but I just take my time till I route it all out. But anyway, the I was online looking and seeing uh, if I could find any answer and really couldn't. They may be, but with these seats, um, they seem to have a lot of issues. Um, and they're, they're very, they're not really that technical. You have a, a power and ground wire coming in the back and it seems that, wish I'd get back here to it and show you, but the, the main reason for this video I wanted to show here in a second is you got a, a power and negative coming in. There's no fuse in the fuse box, which one of those fuses may control it, but I know for a fact that I had power at the plug, but I didn't have power, you can see in here, to the compressor, and there's two wires on the uh, right side of the compressor. The um, black is actually the power, the blue is the ground, which comes to this micro switch which is just a ground micro switch, which you're always getting power, and I'm about to prove this to myself. Once you turn the switch on at the pump, and what breaks the micro switch is actually the ground. When you push down, it lets the air out and pull up. It, it raises a seat and actually makes contact with ground. Which people electronics probably saying right now, well, you ain't got can't put power through the micro switch. That's too much power. I don't. I, I'm not an expert. Like I said, I just ride everything. So basically, that's it. It comes to the micro switch. You got power going to the compressor. Micro switch breaks the ground. Um, but actually, on this situation, somewhere I've lost my power from the back of the seat to the front. And if you start working on these things, it's Kind of hard to work under and a little bit dangerous if you got them propped up like I do with a brick. I actually got it to pump up with power at the compressor, which you'll need to check first. You can run straight power to the compressor to raise it up, but you got to be careful because if this thing falls on, it's not going to kill you, but it's not going to feel real good. I promise you that. It's a pretty heavy seat. So right now I'm going to break and I'm going to run me a new power wire from the compressor to the plug behind the seat. And I'm hoping that's going to fix our problem and Put everything back together, make sure the wire I do don't can't get crimped anywhere, which I think is what may have happened to this. I, I just I don't know, but we're about to find out if my theory is correct. I'll be back. So I'm back. What I did was I was getting power here at this plug. Okay. And for some reason after the plug, I could get power there. Somewhere under the seat I was losing my power. And basically it went straight to the compressor as far as I could tell. The only break in it was the ground at the micro switch at the actual up and down switch. So I run a new power wire straight from here into the compressor. But I haven't got to it yet. I got to go find one. I'm going to put an inline 10 amp fuse here just for safety. I don't know if... There's something, there was something in here, a little in-between plug and maybe some type of thermal fuse in that. So I'm going to run my own 10 amp here in between these two wires right now. I just wanted to show what I did. Straight to the positive, the compressor was on the front. I sho showed that before. So now let's go to the seat and turn the switch on. We are now working. Hope this helps, guys.